Hi, I'm John, owner of Mountain High Fly and the Onzi Fly. What we're going to do today is tie a bait fish called the GM or genetically modified bait fish. It's a fully synthetic fly. Uh, there is a rattle on it and it's a fairly large fly. It's about 12 to 13 inches in total. It'll catch pike, bass, and even large trout. All right, so the materials that we'll be using today are Vivas 240 in black, Micro Flashaboo, UV Minnow Belly, Ripple Ice Fiber in yellow, Ice Wing Fiber in yellow pearl, Chocolate's Body Tubing in yellow, 5 millimeter glass rattles, brown ice wing fiber, yellow gold ice wing fiber, Solarez thick formula, UV resin, and lastly, 15 millimeter fish skull living eyes in ice. So we're going to throw the hook in the vise here. So this is a Kona Big Game Carnivore 6 aught Make sure it's nice and secure. I'm going to start the thread mid shank, work your way back. Trim off the excess thread there. Okay, so the first thing you're going to lay down is the flashaboo, significant portion of it. You're going to grab a pretty big chunk here, about the whole length, as much as you can clip off lengthwise. Pull out any short strands, clean it up, and what you'll do is you'll tie it right on top of the shank here. This is going to be a long fly, about, about 12, 13 inches. Just going to secure that in, wrap forward slightly, trim off the excess. And then what you're going to do is take slightly less of the flashaboo, still a good portion, trim that off and then if you got the full rotary vise, you're going to turn your vise upside down. Clean out those loose, short fibers, and then what I like to do is just part the material roughly, best you can, by eye. Slide it over the bend of the hook there, and you're just going to pull it tight. A couple loose wraps, pull straight down and tighten it. Wrap forward, watch your hook. Anything that looks like it should be on the other side, just pull over, neaten up. And wrap down. And this is 240, Vivas 240, so very strong thread. You can really crank down on these <clears throat> bigger flies. Good stuff. All right, next you're just going to take the tail, pull it all straight, just trim it up. Doesn't have to be perfect. Good length, trim that a little bit shorter. That looks good. OK, 
Okay, the next thing is the UV minnow belly. So this stuff's good because it has, adds UV effect to it, of course, which is a good thing, in my opinion. All the UV materials, all the hairline stuff's fantastic. So another healthy portion of that, clip that right off and tie that right in the top. And with this, you can distribute it around the shank before securing it. Not directly on top, just start it on top and kind of work it around with your fingers. You put more on the bottom, but just a little bit up here works to start. Okay, again, another healthy portion of the UV minnow belly. Again, split it best you can with your fingers. Just eyeball it and then pull it right over there, right over the bend of the hook and secure it. This time I wrap back quite a bit. Hooks are extremely sharp. All right, so the tail's under control. It's looking pretty good here. All right. Cool, so the next thing is the rattle. So the glass rattle here, five millimeter glass rattle from Hairline. That is gonna go right into the chocolate's body tubing. So you're gonna trim off about an inch inch and a half, a little bit long, longer than an inch. Yeah, so a segment about that big, decent portion, and then you're just gonna take the rattle. What you'll do is you'll slide it right in, right into that. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take another bobbin here. You can use 240 or 140. I think there's 140 on this. You're gonna take that. You're gonna tie it off. Just start it like you would on your hook. And then whip finish. that one more time. Just gonna whip finish over the body tubing. That's just gonna secure the rattle in there on one side. So just trim that off. Trim the tag end. So now you got this little, this little uh, cocoon almost with the rattle in it. Well, you're gonna take this, make sure you're using the 240 for tying this in. That's why I use it really is just for this. And you're gonna crank down. So you're gonna go back right about to there, right where the thread starts. And make sure you give it a good spin. Nice clockwise spin there and crank right down on it.
Okay, so that's secured. Next move is the UV. I'm gonna take this solar res. Do a good portion of that and just distribute it nice and even. You can do this before as well, it's sometimes easier, but this works too. Either or. Dries extremely quick when it gets hit with that UV light, so it really doesn't matter. Just keep it off of the other materials and you'll be all set. Okay, come in with the light. Whoops. Come in with the light, the Loon Outdoors UV light. You're gonna cure that up on all sides. Okay, then just classic head cement, just a little of that. Okay, so we're gonna take the polar chenille and wrap forward. Just trying to cover up this, this uh, rattle right in here. Just gonna do that thoroughly. Just cover everything up and slowly work it forward. The fibers aren't super long on this, so you don't really have to palmer it. You don't really have to worry about the direction they're going. It's just really, really short, about half inch fibers, so. Another bobbin up. Okay. Just gonna capture that and trim off. All right, so the rear of the fly is set. So now what we got is the body, which consists of a couple different colors of ice wing fiber. So we got yellow pearl here, which we showed you guys. This stuff's good. So take a healthy clump of this out and you're just gonna pull it straight out and let it do its thing. So a nice natural pull, just let it it all come out as it would, taper nicely, and then gather it up. And you're gonna just make sure you get those fibers aligned. Lay it right on top. And you want it not quite as long as the tail. You want it to come down just past the halfway mark of the tail length. Tie it in with a couple solid wraps and then pull it straight back over the rattle and then tie in just in front of it. And the same thing on the bottom. Healthy clump of this. Okay, now we got some brown ice wing fiber. Same stuff we've been using, just different color. Another good portion of that. And when I okay, 
Okay, so next is the ice wing fiber in yellow gold. Again, another healthy portion. You're taking out about the same amount each time, about that, that pencil to half a pencil thickness. Okay, so lastly is the ripple ice fiber in yellow. You take a good chunk of this. It's a little different consistency than the ice wing fiber. The ripple ice fiber has got little ripples in it. You can kind of see that in each, each of those thicker fibers. But you'll just do that for the throat. Turn it right. Get the hook going up and secure it halfway. Again, that's what we're doing the whole time, just securing all these materials halfway. And then pulling them back. Okay. And then lastly, the brown. That's going to be the final color here. Yeah. <clears throat> and just do a whip finish here. One of these. All right, again, this is John from Mountain High Fly and Onzi Fly in Lincoln, New Hampshire. And this is the GM, genetically modified bait fish. As you can tell, it's a fairly large pattern. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy tying it. Again, you can find the materials at the shop here. Uh, most of the stuff is from hairline dubbing. And again, it's a fully synthetic fly, so not a single natural material on here. Uh, really easy, lightweight to cast. And I hope you guys really enjoy tying and fishing this fly. Thanks.